Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I have just finished my long journey home and I am back in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. When I left the Philippines it was plus 35 degrees Celsius and now that I'm home it is negative 35 degrees Celsius. Anyways, all that aside, let's get right into it. This week I'm going to take a look at something called the Keep Key. This is a Bitcoin hardware wallet that allows you to secure your Bitcoins on your computer. Let's take a look at what it is and how it works. All right, so in your Keep Key package that you're gonna get, uh, there's just gonna be a few things, really simple. You're gonna have a USB cable. <clears throat> you're gonna have the device itself. And you're going to have uh, a little card on the back of this. I've written my recovery phrase so that if I lose or damage my device, I can get a new one and recover all of my funds. So, before we get into this and actually using the device, I want to show you here. Um, you, I'm going to be using the Keep Key in my Chrome browser. And there's a couple things that I've gotten from the App Store. So I go to the Web Store, and I'm just gonna type in Keep Key. There we go. And these are the two items that you need, all right? You need Keep Key Wallet and Keep Key Proxy, all right? Once you've downloaded and installed those both, they will be available to you. And actually, if you look up here, this is my keep key right there, keep key wallet. If I click on it, um, there's none, it's not detected because it's not plugged in right now, okay? So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to connect the USB to the bottom of the device. Then I'm going to plug this into my computer. And once it's plugged in, you can see that it says keep key on the front of the device. Now, all right, I'm gonna go up to the same little button that you saw before, click on it. And this device is wiped clean, so I'm going to start it for the first time here. I'm gonna hit initialize keep key, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give it a label. So uh, I'm just gonna put test because I'm gonna wipe this one later. All right, I'm gonna hit set label, and now I'm gonna choose a pin. Um, so on the screen here, what you're seeing is just a block of, of nine little squares, but on the keep key itself, it scrambles the numbers, and you're gonna pick a pin based on where the numbers are located. So I'm just gonna pick one, two, three, four, but you can see they're kind of all mixed up. You might not be able to see, but anyways, they're all mixed up in different orders, and so I'm gonna click one, two, three, four on the screen here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and hit choose pin. Now it asked me to put it in again, but it has changed the order of the numbers, all right? This uh, prevents, it's, it's just further security so somebody can't uh, hack and know your pin number. And confirm. Okay, now, on my device, you can see on the screen there it's empty, but on my device here, it's given me 12 words that I need to write down and remember. Now since I'm going to clear this device again after and start it brand new, um, I'm just gonna take a picture of that uh, because it's nice and quick, but I would definitely recommend writing this down on paper instead uh, because <laughs> Because if you uh, have a picture on your phone, somebody can get a hold of that and then they would be able to access your funds, all right? So be very careful with this phrase. Uh, it says to push down the button in the top right, okay? And as I do, it circles around, gives me a little check mark, and that is it. That's how you initialize your keep key. It just kind of starts up an account for you. Sometimes it takes a second. Oh, there we go. And that's it. So it's all set up, super easy. Um, just really, really important that you get your passphrase not on your phone. Write it down and keep it somewhere safe, okay? So anyways, let's take a look at what we have here. Um, it's a pretty simple layout. Um, right now it just says receive Bitcoin. If I had some funds in there, then I could uh, 
let's just try that. I'm going to hit receive. Um, that gives me, all right, that gives me a QR code and it also gives me uh, my address down below. So I have a couple options here. If I hit this little clipboard in the bottom, then it copies the, uh, it copies the QR code so that I could paste it somewhere. So if I wanted to paste it up here, there's my address. All right, um, but if I just wanna receive, then I can also scan that QR code. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take my wallet um, on my phone and I'm just gonna send a couple bucks to this address. Quick scan there. If you're unfamiliar, uh, how to use a Bitcoin wallet at all, please check out. I'm going to link to uh, some of my explanation videos regarding that, okay? Um, so anyways, I've sent it. If I go back here and hit this refresh button in the top right, you can see I've received that Bitcoin into my wallet, all right? Um, I can go into my transactions and that will open up a new tab and I can see that I've received this Bitcoin right there at 10.31 a.m. Um, let's try sending it out now. I'm gonna copy and paste an address. Let's do it actually from one of my videos. That's probably the easiest thing to do. All right, so I'm just gonna copy this. I'll just copy that. I'll go back to my wallet. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna enter my address and you enter the amount. Okay, and then all I have to do once I've selected my amount, I hit send and it should pretty quickly pop up on my phone here. Oh, and I have to enter my pin. Again, it scrambles it, all right? Uh, and then I just enter it on my computer. Once I've entered my pin, I hit send, and then it's gonna ask me to confirm. So on the screen here, it asks me, do I wanna send this amount of Bitcoin to this address, okay? And all I have to do is hold down the button here, it circles around, and it checks one last time just to confirm, and I hold it down, and there we go. Now the transaction is sent says it's successful on the screen, and there's my phone buzzing. Uh, I have just received a new payment, so it has gone through. Um, now, there are a couple other things. You can have multiple accounts. So if I hit add account, and I want another one, let's say I want test two, add account, and this will create a secondary account. Sometimes people like to separate their Bitcoin into different areas so that you can keep track of, uh, say, something you're gonna spend versus something you're gonna save. There's lots of reasons to do this, but that was all I had to do, add account and pick a label, all right? So now I've got two accounts. Uh, it's worth noting as well that they support other currencies. So there is Litecoin, Dogecoin, and Ethereum available on this. Ethereum is still in beta, so they're still kind of working on it, um, but it is possible to use. Uh, Litecoin and Dogecoin are uh, both working just the same as Bitcoin, and you would just pick what currency you like, uh, pick an account name again, and add account. So I'll just do Lite1, add account. <laughs> and I've created another account there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at one more thing here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert between currencies live within the app. Uh, and the way that this is possible is that KeepKey has an integration with a company called Shapeshift. Uh, Shapeshift is just an online service that allows you to convert quickly between uh, cryptocurrencies or between digital currencies. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my main account, which I've put some more Bitcoin into. I'm gonna hit send. Uh, and then when I hit two, there's a little drop down that allows me, if I want, to select one of my other accounts that I've created. So I'm gonna click this light count, light coin account that I've made. Um, and I'm just gonna go point oh, oh, 
five. Sure, that'll work. Um, and I'm going to convert and send. Once more, it's going to ask for my pin on my device. Uh, so I'll just enter that and I hit send pin and it just confirms. It asks, do I want to convert this amount of Bitcoin to this amount of Litecoin? Uh, and I'm just going to hold this top button twice actually to confirm again. And that's it. Successfully sent. Uh, I can see that my balances have been adjusted. So you can see less Bitcoin, more Litecoin. Um, and that's it. So what I want to do is actually I'm going to I'm going to clear out this wallet. Um, I'm going to skip ahead here and I'm going to show you if I clear out my account or if I were starting this on a new computer, how I would recover my account. OK. OK, so I'm just going to show you two last things, the first of which is really simple to do. The second of which uh, confused me a little at first, but once I figured it out, it was super easy. All right. So first thing, um, I'm going to show you how to clear this device uh, to take all of your accounts off of it. So I'm going to go back up here. Um, I'm going to hit this little settings wheel and really simple. I'm going to hit wipe device. One thing to be aware of when it asks you to hold this button, once you do that a single time, it clears your device. So make sure this is ac actually what you want to do. It asks you to confirm once only. Okay. So I hold it down. And that's it. My device is completely cleared off. Now, what I wanted to show you uh, that for a second I kind of didn't quite understand um, was recovering my account. So down here in the bottom right of this little tab, uh, you're going to hit recover keep key. All right. You're going to give it a label again. You can change the label, um, but I'm just going to hit test. I'm going to hit set label. Um, you're going to pick a pin. Again, uh, it shows you uh, scrambled numbers on here. So I'm going to pick. Okay. And now what you're going to need is that recovery phrase, the one that I took a picture of that I told you not to do that. Okay. So I've got my recovery phrase here on my phone. Um, now what you see on the screen here is a list and you're going to enter in that recovery phrase. The difference is on your device, um, there's a cipher. That means uh, you have your regular alphabet and then below you have a scrambled alphabet. And what they want you to do is they want you to enter in your recovery sentence or rather the first four letters of each word of your recovery sentence, but they want you to use this cipher. So what I mean is my first word is unusual. Okay. So instead of typing on my keyboard, U N U S, I'm going to be typing in whatever the other letter underneath that letter that they've asked for is. So on here where it says U, underneath it, there is an N. Okay. So I'm going to type in N first. All right. Then it changes the cipher every time I type in a letter. Even if I backspace, it's going to change it every time. Okay. Um, so I need an N. Underneath that, there's an A. Okay. Uh, again, there's an E here. And from S, there is a Y. Okay. Once you finish your first entry, you're going to hit the space bar and that will take you to the next one. You're going to go all the way through your entire recovery phrase like this. And at the end, instead of hitting the space bar, you're going to hit done. And that should recover all of your accounts. I've tried it before and it has worked. I'm not going to go through the whole thing again now because it does take a moment to get through it. Uh, but that is how you recover your keep key. Should you lose or wreck this device uh, for any reason, you can access your funds once again. So I really quite enjoy the keep key. Um, it does what it says it's going to do. Um, it feels a little higher end, just the build of the actual product itself. Um, and I trust it. There are a couple things I would love to see in the future from keep key. Um, one of them is uh, a reference currency. So what I mean is 
if I'm looking on here, I'd like to be able to see my denominations in Bitcoin as well as my local currency, so Canadian dollars. Um, another thing that I would like is uh, for the actual built-in app, it'd be kind of cool if you could customize it a bit, as in making it look a certain way, like with a skin. Uh, that would be awesome. And the other way, the and the other thing that I'd like to see here um, is I'd love to have a way to make this a watch only address. So what that is, is where you're able to keep track of your balance without having to go into the actual application on your browser. So whether that be um, a mobile app or just a QR code that I could scan and get an overview of all of my accounts from um, maybe an outside wallet, that would be awesome too. Other than that, Great product, uh, yeah, I'd recommend trying it out if you're looking to uh, check out the world of hardware wallets. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that followed me all the way through Southeast Asia. I'm gonna keep on making videos, so please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video with anyone you think may benefit. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.